Welcome back to another episode of These Cocktails for another cocktail adventure. We're going to get started with a cocktail called Passion. And it starts with cranberry juice. An ounce and a half of cranberry juice. We buy the cranberry juice without added sugar. That's just what we do. So it may or may not affect this cocktail. I'll let you know at the end if you should use a cranberry juice that already has sugar added. Or maybe you just want to add a little bit of sugar yourself. With that being said, an ounce and a half of cranberry juice. A half ounce of lime juice, fresh if possible. One ounce of tequila. It didn't specify, so I'm going with a Blanco. We're using El Tesoro, Blanco tequila. One splash of a brandy based orange liqueur by Grand Marier. I'm just going to use a couple. We're gonna add ice and give it a shake. One block of ice. Watch out for the chilled coop. And one over top. Nice hard shake. We're going to serve this in a chilled coop. We're going to garnish this with a lime wheel. There you have it. Passion. Cheers. Yeah. So, immediately, the first thing you get is the cranberry and the tequila. Blanco tequila probably is perfect for this because that's what you get. Blanco tequila, lime, and cranberry. Not too much Grand Marier. If I got it um, if I gotta be honest. Maybe I would add a little bit more, but like I said, the sweetness that's missing in the cranberry juice may affect how this cocktail does taste. This cocktail is a very sour forward cocktail. That's what I will say. So maybe the extra sweetness in the cranberry juice could have helped. It might have not made a difference at all. It really tastes the same in my opinion. The cranberry without added sugar and the cranberry with added sugar but if, if you like sour cocktails and you're looking for a quick sour sipper this is where you want to start cheers <laughs>